show of peace and unity through prayer. A divisive election campaign has brought Detroit's already tight-knit Muslim community even closer. Many fear that Donald Trump's hardline anti-immigration stance and call to ban Muslims from entering America has fueled Islamophobia. It's even forced several mosques to tighten security. Our sisters with the, their hijab, when Trump was started this, people have been harassing them around. They make us not safe because there's so many things uh, being said. You have uh, so many American Muslims, young men and women are uh, in the army. They defended this country. All of us as uh, leaders, we do the same thing. See, when people are doing good, nobody talk about it. Although Muslims make up just a small slice of America, their vote is becoming increasingly important. The state of Michigan has one of the largest and fastest growing Muslim populations in America. And Trump's remarks during this campaign are pushing more Muslims to go out and vote, with surveys showing 86% of them are planning to cast the ballot in this election. It was here in Detroit that Mr. Trump was booed at an African-American church as he tried to make inroads with the black community. That anti-Trump sentiment is growing among churchgoers across the country. The love of God for us. Pastor Christopher Moshinga feels that Trump's comments could endanger religious liberties. Well, I think his comments did not offend just uh, Muslims. They did offend Christians and everybody in between. If today one particular candidate singles out one religion, he might do the same to a different religion tomorrow. So as a matter of principle, that should, that's a no-no thing. A tiny fraction of Muslims are still supporting Trump, but the vast majority of the faithful are turning away from Trump's anti-Muslim rhetoric.